do. I'm wearing my Nick Saban Dynasty era shirt. It has the Taylor Swift era tour on it. Oh wow, that is a sh- that's there's a lot of things going on with that. Um, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh oh, <laughs> your response coming is- in hot. Coming in hot. Week two, college football season. No buts allowed. Yeah. Hello. We should just record the pre-show. Like, what it is should... it all with your koozie and beer situation? I'm all embarrassed right. for you. You have the you skinny know... can and a regular koozie. <laughs> please show, please show it. All right. It's like it. I just, I'm, I, I'm desperate. Okay. Remember when the can reveal used to be a big deal? I saw a Stella Artois, and I just said sure. And then I just wanted the koozie, and yeah, he's rattling around in there. Okay. He's, you know, just trim, just trim stop. back. Stop. He, he's 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 light on carbs, but that's what we're doing. So light on carbs. Thanks he's for the, the immediate can. immediate call out, which, <laughs> by the way, is a perfect perfect segue. segue. It is into the tweet that Jack Nashman sent me on our August thirty first, as my college football locks were imploding. Yes, said nice lock. He put lock in air quotes. Okay, nice lock pick so far this year, asshole. With two exclamation points. Now. I know uh, Scott Van Pelt uh, talked about this uh, also la- this week, I saw, because he mm-hmm. did not do very well with his picks, which is pretty normal because we are contrarian right, uh, right, losers. Right. Um, yeah, I, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Nashman, that I I did not deliver this week in locks, and I promised to do better. And well, I, I'm just ashamed for me and my family. Let's move to Justin over on TikTok where I posted the video of my locks. And he wrote, girls talking about spreads, fade every bet. To which I replied, four and one on those picks. Sorry you don't like winning money, Justin. Oh, very nice. If you could please just, if you're a guy and you think Who's that that's a good idea, just just don't. Don't comment on we're, my we're stuff s- saying we're that. Still, we're still doing that in the year 2024. And that's my point. Also, like, come up with something better. The best is that he apologized on there and said, um, I'm sorry, but that Penn State West Virginia bet was so bad or whatever. And I'm like, so the one bet that I lost was so bad. The one out of the five that I gave you. He couldn't even say sorry and just leave it at that. It just I, continues to double down. But yeah, I in do 2024, lo- I, we're still doing that. But trolling is at an all time high week one college football bets. So yeah, it, it's um, we're back. We're, we're, we're like, so back. We're, we're, we're very, very back. Um. And it feels good, man. It feels really good. Week one, my we we talked offline. I had family in town, which was wonderful, but like it throws my rhythm into disarray. Yeah, and I've got some soccer problems with my kids as well. Like we're gonna we're gonna have to manage this college football season on a week to week basis. So this okay. is the first week where we can lean back in and we could feel good about what we're doing. But let's talk a little week one, even though we record this late in the week and nobody. Well, I guess week one, like, tri- like over spilled into Monday. So maybe you're still thinking about week one. Either way, we want to talk about week one. Let's talk USC. Fuck yeah, Lincoln Riley. Can't believe I'm saying that. But fuck yeah. You I'm do so you. happy. And you know what's funny? So watching football games with my dad. Mm-hmm. Lincoln Riley, yes. But my dad just fucking hates Brian Kelly. Everybody does. No, that's, Everybody. I'm sorry. Everybody does. Everybody in my household was like, I don't like that guy. Like the vibes, I feel bad saying that because I don't know him personally. But like, I don't know him either. But you know, the vibes are just not great, and the the slamming. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I love a hot headed coach. I love Rich Rod. Okay, that I mean, football coach Rich Rod. Let's just leave it at that. Sure. Um, slamming tables and being angry and yelling and cussing. Like, I don't mind that at all. It's not no. even that for me with Brian Kelly. It's just something else that gives me a weird a weird vibe. But it's funny that your dad said that and my stepdad said that to me this week. Oh, yeah. He just, like, he wanted to see him unhappy. Yeah. And and he was unhappy. And well, then he starts slamming tables. Like, that's ugh. a great image. I, oh. It, I also saw the best meme of that, by the way, was the person that said this is the reaction, to, should be the reaction to seeing Dasani because Dasani is absolute trash. I hope we didn't want a Coca-Cola sponsor for this podcast because Dasani's There it goes. Diet yeah. Coke? Diet Coke, I could do all day. Okay, so Coke, I'm I'm not trying to say all of your products are bad, but Dasani, just, just uh, this one. Uh, I would rather actually Aquafina is far worse. 
the, if we did like a power rankings of water, of water? Like, I would rather not have water than drink Dasani and Aquafina. Not so have just no water. You are in the desert. You are parched. Nope. Yep. That's it. You're like that's oh, it for me. I'll, I'll pass. Yeah. No. No. Thank you. No. Thank um, you. Dasani, I'd consider Aquafina. Literally never. I can't remember the last time I had Aquafina. It's the Major League Baseball water, so it's always at games, and I refuse. So oh, I never okay. have. I never have water at baseball games. I like it. Hot water takes. Yeah. Like. Bottled water takes. Um, okay, so Brian Kelly sucks at his job, and everyone's yes. mad at him. Good. Lincoln Riley maybe doesn't suck at his job, and everyone loves him again. We kind of called this, by the we way. We did. Uh, Thank just you. saying. Um, run the tape, producer Matt. Run the tape. I'm going to take USC plus four versus LSU. I think this is a wild line. I think the USC is going to be so much better than we think they're going to be. I think Miller Moss is a dude. The game that we are on together is usc plus four versus lsu i think this usc team is a little underrated i feel like usc um might be in good shape to uh get this upset yeah we 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 call this it is amazing that this guy can just wake up out of bed and like produce heisman trophy candidates mm-hmm. at, like on repeat like yep that is amazing and, and we've done enough shitting on lincoln riley over the last few years where you can we could keep it real they yep. looked like a team that wanted to tackle for the first time in a really long time. Yes. Um, and they still gave up huge chunks of yards. This will not all be fixed. But they're a problem. Like, they are on a week where Oregon looked like very, eh, and Ohio State's offense was not great, and Wisconsin sucked. Um, I told you, this team is going to be sitting out of championship weekend. and play- Playoff vibes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I- I did get them a 20 to 1 to win the Big Ten before the season started. I wow. did get that in. Good call. I did. That was a dark horse that I liked. That Missouri others. But, but um I, I just good well, for them. Good it for was, them. That was I for me that was the ah, that's hard. I can't decide if that's a bigger statement to me than Notre Dame because playing at Texas A and M is such a hard thing to do to win. I think he was closer to that last year than people anticipated, maybe. Uh, yes. him being Marks Freeman, uh, Lincoln Riley having the criticisms of the defense, keeping his guy around, all of that kind of outside talk. That I think this was the biggest statement in terms of, hey, I heard you guys, we made these adjustments and look, they worked. It's not just, hey, I made these adjustments and give it time. Like it's definitely a big moment for them on a very big stage against a, a good LSU team. It's not a bad LSU team by any means. No. But it's no, it, they'll be they'll be. It fine. is it is um, a huge statement for USC and in the Big Ten. I think there was a lot of statements made, like Florida State deciding they're not going to win the ACC. Um, the ACC deciding it's not going to win the ACC. Yeah, the ACC just dipping out. Peace. Uh, Clemson Jesus. completely. Uh, the more I thought about Clemson falling out of the top twenty-five. Are falling as far as it did in the top twenty-five yeah. after losing to the number one team in the country, that like actually kind of blew my mind. I I mean, Florida yeah, State obviously anybody. fell out. I I actually don't know that that was like a fair gist. Like if you're evaluating them by like okay, what you're looking at, I understand. But their preseason, I think maybe people are being more realistic about preseason rankings not mattering than they are about upholding you know, where someone was in the preseason rankings. And we saw that with Oregon, too. Um, we did do our AP poll show, so I won't dig in too deep on the AP poll. But that one was a real shocker to me that Clemson fell as far as they did um, after losing to the number one it, team in the country. It, ACC did not have a great weekend. Um, Florida State, obviously, is a train wreck. We'll talk about them. Actually, North Carolina beating Minnesota with a backup yeah. quarterback was probably – I was going to uh, say, I mean, outside I'm betting of against him. That's so sad. Yeah. Um, that, I'm going to say that they didn't have a terrible, it was more for the favorites and the unknowns really proved themselves. So like you got uh, a Boston college, you've got a uh, Miami, like teams that actually proved themselves. I guess you can count Virginia Tech. Tech horrific. Ooh, yeah. Um, horrific. That I bet them that's bad. Um, we, we should lead into Florida state. This is a full on football disaster. I don't know any other way to put it. Yeah. And and now you have a situation where they're playing um they're playing Memphis, right? Like coming up. Um th- this is bad. 
like that that Memphis game next weekend is a problem. And then you play. Can you Cal. imagine Art Bell losing to Memphis? Well, but like Memphis is good. Yeah. Memphis is a team people think that is going to make the playoff. That hurts. So what? I wonder what. I, I don't see a number. I wonder what that Memphis point spread is. Memphis will definitely like play up even for that purpose. Memphis, you know what I mean? Cal, at SMU, extremely losable. Clemson, losable. At Duke, I don't know. Is wait a Who minute. Did... Is Clemson? Is Florida State at Clemson? Well, uh, okay, good. For DJ's sake, I just don't want it to be. And and then they. I play mean, not at that Duke. FSU fans are being nice to him anyway, but. All right, let's do this game. Let's do will Florida State make a bowl, shall we? Sure. Okay, they play Memphis at home. I think Florida State loses that game. I'm just going to say it right now. I okay. think they're 0-3. Do you, do they, Memphis, win or loss for you? Well, I'll take it as a loss. Cal at home. I'll give them a win. Oh. Okay, one. That's yeah, one yeah, win. Sorry, at, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking at the schedule. Did you Did you signify one? Oh, this is oh okay. okay. One, I, sorry, I'm I'm locked in. Like fucking head, gotcha. head head very focused. All right, at SMU, that's a loss for Florida State. At SMU, yeah. I don't even think SMU is that good. <laughs> that's a loss. Okay. Uh, so they, they only have one win. That's one in four. Home versus Clemson, that's a loss. One in five. Okay. At Duke, that's a win. Two and five. I don't even feel good about that. Duke like does weird shit. Um at Miami, two and six. North Carolina at home. I'll give them a win. Sure. Three and six. At Notre Dame, three and seven. Charleston Southern, that's four. And then sure, beat Florida, that's five. Like they you won't. Can very realistically argue that this team won't make a bowl. Feel bad, man. Poor DJ. I mean, I love I I love him. I, I love his family. That's it's hard to watch. It really is. And I think for a lot of people it is hard to troll him. Um, can we talk about the eating dog shit guy just for a sec? Oh. I told you this on when before we did our AP poll live show. I oh. don't care if this guy does it either way. I get the principle of saying he did he put it out there and all of that. But just the idea. I think you had it right. You were like, hey, what we should do is make him do it. And when he goes through it, we say, no, 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 man, you don't have yeah. to do it. Don't but eat the I, The shit. idea of this man, eat, like, I came in, no, 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 no. No. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want him, I don't want him to. I don't want to know that he did. I, I'm good with him disappearing off the face of this planet, but there are a lot of people very much hunting him down and calling so wait, him out. So, wait, so wait, the, he deleted his Twitter and then. But then, like, somebody came on and said, I'm the dog shit guy, but wasn't the dog shit guy? Or is he just not surfaced? Is the dog shit guy gone? Yeah. Oh, he's gone. He's, um, Jack actually... Mack from Barstool has gotten his actual name and his fiance's Instagram account. Jeez, Jesus Christ. And I think he's been in contact with him via Snapchat. I don't know. Deep dive. Shout out Jack Mack. I love his little deep dive wow. journalism on TikTok. Um, but, but this guy, I think, is like off the. He's off the grid. He's deleted like everything within like hours of this. Like he was gone. So, imagine you have you have backed your team. You're coming off one of the most heartbreaking ways to end or end a great season that you could possibly have. Your star quarterback breaks his leg. Your entire roster opts out of its bowl game. You miss the playoff despite going undefeated. You 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 were back. You come back with hope and optimism renewed. You lose a heartbreaker across on the other side of the world. And then you double down and you say, yeah, I'll eat fucking dog shit out of a solo cup. And your team then proceeds in this game, right? To the exact moment in this game, you're down 21 to 6. 11.58 is left in this football game. And you now... The world saw this before it even happened, right? The guy wrote, I'll eat dog shit. And everybody, Oh, the screenshots me, were there. And so then you're sitting there and you're you're thinking to yourself, motherfucker, like this, no, this is not going well to me. Yeah. You, you I don't know what you do. I think in this instance, you delete the account. Oh, you, I would. You, you I cut would your abs- Look, I'm not going to lie. I would, I you, would certainly, out. I would cer- actually, that's not true. I would take this moment and take my fame. Let me tell you that. I would. I would 
I would wear it. I would wear it. I would not eat the dog shit, but I would I wouldn't hide. I wouldn't hide from the fact that I did. I would come on this podcast. I would come on this podcast and I would say my piece and apologize and do like one of those I don't know. Trade for something else. Trade for something else that's so, not so as gross. So donate like a thousand dollars to a, a, a yes, shelter. Yes, we would. We would do something. Yes, we would figure out a way. But I certainly wouldn't be hiding from this. I would be capitalizing on this moment. If he Maybe ate that's because I like shit, attention. That could have been. He could. He could go viral. Like very viral. He's already yes, viral. Yes, he's already so viral. He should have shit. owned it. And that's a, what a real champ would do. Would be like, hey, people are going to always hate on you. You got to find some way to spin this into something else and also he's getting married this year buddy what are you doing spin this into okay if i get two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a GoFundMe, i'll eat the dog shit or something yeah. find a way to spin this to pay for your wedding or something your fiance oh, is getting harassed on the internet too now so she did look at what she's signing up for if my fiance yeah, wed- wed- wedding's tweeted off. i would i would actually nick don't ever tweet anything like that because i don't no. Ever don't don't th- tweet that you would eat dog shit. Let's just start there. That's just a universal rule. We all can agree. No puns allowed. Community. Don't tweet that. Maybe well, something else. Also, yeah, no no more tattoos. No more tattoos. Yeah, that's played out. The dog shit. I mean, <laughs> like you eat a gotta... dog treat. Eat a dog treat. Eat dog food. Yeah, but dog it shit. Play the same dog shit. The stakes are high. That is. <laughs> The stakes are high. Like, you could, he could get like really sick. This is such the like New uh, York. This Jets. is such the goody two shoes into in me. I'm like he could get really sick from eating dog. Well, poop. no, he he can. New York Jets, San Francisco 49ers, dog shit. Winner take <laughs> absolutely all. Absolutely not. Yes, absolutely not. Okay. I did the mayo bath. I'm not. I I will do a mayo bath again. I'll do a mayo bath every week for the next year over before to, eating dog shit. Oh, it would be awful. It would be. What's like the worst thing you would possibly do for a sports bet? I mean, I wouldn't eat dog shit. I'm certainly baiting you into a. Oh yeah, no, you you are. I, I would the tattoo things played out. It wouldn't yeah. even bug me. I'd tattoo like it'd be fine. It would be like whatever. I would. I wouldn't be able to get the tattoo. I'd pass out. So, um, I'd have to get back to you. There's definitely things that would like drive me crazy. Like doing a stand up routine would like. <laughs> I, and I think I'd be okay at it, but well, like being I up would... there, lost. I think, um, I think that would. Uh, and I don't normally get stage fright, yeah. but I've seen people when they're thrown into stand up routine situations, and they, they stand up would it. be hard. Well, but be I terrifying. just even if it was uh, failing, I don't think I would care that much. It's got to be something else. I do it every week. Me. That's why Jack, whatever his name is, Matt Nash Jackson, or. Jack Nashson told me an asshole. I mean, that's that's comfort for me, buddy. I thrive when you're calling me an asshole. Yeah. You're making me stronger. Um, all right, what else? All right, well, Miami. <laughs> Cam Ward is really good. Uh, Cam Ward's good. Miami's good. You know, don't ruin this, Mario. Do not ruin this. <laughs> I also actually... shout out to Cam for absolutely obliterating the SEC and um, Florida and being like, I played at USC. I played at Washington. This isn't anything here in the swamp, okay? It's I, nothing. Shout out the Pac-12. I really like watching Cam Ward play because there's just an ounce. No, there's a solid serving of little fucks given in his game that I really like, admire. No, no. Like, he kind of reminds me of... It's like bootleg Bryce Young. Yes. It's like it's like Rube Lurie's The Calmness. Yes. And, yes, and where like that, he doesn't. It's like it's like almost where there's like nothing there. Br- Bryce would hold onto the ball for an hour, move around, and and it was like elegant. And Cam does that, and yet it's like yeah. There's it, I love the and then pace at the of end he, they just like smile and that's it. It's yeah, like you know what I mean. It's not like this like crazy reaction to stuff. Yeah, no, that is actually a great comparison in terms of like demeanor. Yeah, um, no, it's it's the stylistically. Yeah. Um, also, it gives me kind of CJ Stroud vibes too, in the terms that like he also is very like. I remember at Ohio State, people were like, "Does this guy care? Does he care? Do you remember that?" Yes. Does this guy even care about football? Um. Well, he does now, so we're fine. We're fine. No, I. Uh, so Miami might be a thing, and I'm here for that. If Miami's a thing, I'm, I'm just saying, Mario. If you mess this up, people are gonna be really bad. Oh, and you. Yes, we know that's coming, and I and I will I will not eat the dog. I'll eat the metaphorical dog shit on Notre Dame. 
Um, Notre Dame, that was pretty good. I have refused was... to be on their bad bandwagon yet because, I mean, now I obviously can be, but I, I criticize them heavily on this podcast because and on our live shows because I literally I've put all of my stock in them for the last couple of years, and they really haven't. All of the Marcus Freeman years I've bought into this team, and I've gotten just whopped. So I have been very patient. That that I... to that to say, Notre Dame, if you lose a game that you were supposed to win and ruin your chance of a playoff, this narrative's never going away that you guys don't play anyone big, you guys can't handle it. The um, schedule this schedule sucks. It got a little better. USC. I, I guess and, and Louisville might be okay and Georgia mm-hmm. Tech might be okay, although um I don't know. Like it the schedule sucks. Yeah. I mean it, it really it's bad. Like I yeah, I do want to talk about our friends at uh, TNT. Um there is a pregame and post game show now for college football because we have Mountain Rest Mountain West rights. So that's Woo-woo. a nice um, and the guys on that show were talking about Notre Dame and they were like, join a conference. Like you guys have to join a conference, play somebody, prove it, all this stuff. But my point is like, why, why would you do it just yet? Like you haven't been punished for not being in a conference. The only punishment they get is no buy. But other than that, you sit out of, like we talked about other teams like USC or yeah. like other teams in the big 10 and the SEC that aren't playing during conference championship weekend, like aren't going to be really punished for that and they actually it just might be nice if they don't have to play again and sure again the buy thing is a, a big deal but you have to to think that Notre Dame's in a fine position now what uh, unless they're left out of the college football expanded playoff for not being in a conference I don't see any reason why they would join one the money is there for their yes. own TV rights their money's there for the brand they're they're avoiding playing an extra game and having an extra loss on their record. Um, and they can wow. make their own schedule. They can make their own schedule. And they, and it, they, and and it sucks. Not, it sucks, but you have staple wins. You get staple wins. So you have Texas A&M, you have USC on your, on your resume. Okay, this you get is... staple wins. It's still, you could argue that about a team that's in a conference. You could or- argue that about Ole Miss. Well, it's, you know, people need to differentiate the, Notre Dame and then the business of Notre Dame. The reason is they're not joining a conference is because the business reasons are very good. Yeah. Um, And so if they get boxed in to a point where they have to join a conference, they're not joining the fucking ACC anymore. Yeah, I could tell you that. Um, They'd probably join the Big Ten. Yeah. Uh, It seems like the most thing, which would be amazing for the Big Ten. But would it be amazing for Notre Dame? No, like, exactly. What's the what's so, the, so you don't get a buy? Do you think people the point? Notre Dame are like okay? Now that could prove costly, right? Yes. So they get a, but they get a home playoff game. Yeah. Well, and, and that's they, the thing is like you, you also are banking on the fact that like there are teams that are going to play Notre Dame during the non-conference schedule. So you're banking on teams like Texas A&M playing them. You're banking on yes. other Big Ten and SEC teams being willing to play Notre Dame to have staple wins during the non-conference schedule okay yes that, that you're banking on the fact that people also are willing to play games against them to have a, a staple of victory and a strength of schedule bump as well so i don't know that it's necessary i understand the the sentiment behind people would like to see notre dame in a conference we've been saying this for decades but like uh, it, Again, the point being they don't need to be in a conference to be successful to make the playoff. What they do need to win is win playoff games and prove I, that they can win playoff games. That's, I have, I that's also, where they're at. I will say this about Notre Dame. That was a really nice win. I don't know what it means exactly because mm-hmm. I don't know how good Texas A&M yeah. is. I also don't know if Riley Leonard is actually any good. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's I just mean so this, precious. He's going to get I, – I, like they need to figure out how they're going to keep him – Upright, because this is yeah, this is just not well, it's a, a young good alone, recipe. But yeah. I um, I love when quarterbacks cry, like Miller Moss and Riley Leonard, both getting like teary eyed. Like nothing makes me happier than a quarterback that's crying after a win. So if we could have more of that in college football, that would be great. I love it. I love every minute. I'm just so sweet and so innocent and pure. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Fine. Kramer was like, whatever. whatever. I want Brian win, Kelly slamming win, tables. Yeah, yes, this is true. <laughs> uh, 
cry, Riley. Leonard, Hashtag cry. the feels. If you don't follow the feels, um, the Bleacher Report app, please do let's, now. Let's also take a moment for each of our sports ball teams having uh, okay, we... having some good moments in week one. We have um, to talk about. Let's start with Iowa because that was the game that we started with uh, on Saturday, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, very much was trolling you at halftime like this was the easiest bet of my life. The second half, all I sent Kramer on Slack was the fuck. F word. Oh my God, <laughs> no effing way. Yeah. It was so stressful. And also my DMs of people being like, oh no, oh no. But sure enough, I, by I one mean, point, Iowa so- under hits. I have never, I, that is probably the hardest that I've sweat a bet in a couple years. Like that, I was like, no, no. And I didn't even have that much money on it. It was more just that I was like, I don't want, I'm putting a lot of stake in making this bet every year. I'm a little nervous. But also I thought that the, um, I thought that the total would end up going up now for Iowa. I was like, this works out perfectly. People think their offense is going to be back. The total's going to be set high. It's set at 36 for this oh, week. And I was oh, like, yeah. no, no. In in a week not heavy on good games, that is one of the best games. Yeah. By the way. So all right, but I'll but, say this about Iowa. I my oh my god, I had uh, I had thoughts at half. I was down bad, <laughs> and then and then um like it like it was like a light switch turned on. Like yeah. three touchdowns to wide receivers, which eclipsed last year's total total of two. And and by the way, two of those touchdowns went to. A young man, a true freshman, Reese Vanderzee, who I have been hearing about, by the way, mm-hmm. of people that like they're like, hey, he's a huge wide receiver that they'll probably turn into a tight end because mm-hmm. that's what Iowa does. But two touchdowns, um, and the defense was obviously great because that's what that's what their defense does. Yes, uh, but it was joy. I mean, it was against Illinois State, but there was joy for me in this. And like my entire Twitter feed was like. You know, Andy Dufresne, Shawshank Redemption, just crawl through a mile of shit looking yeah. up at the sky. Yeah. That is what we did. And it was against Illinois State. So we'll I have think to see we've it said this week. shit on this podcast, this episode of the podcast, more than we have like ever on well, this podcast. Which... I normally do the heavy lifting on this front. Yeah. And I'm, um, I apologize. No, to... no, no. I feel like it's, it, it's good. I feel like it's needed. It's, um, it's real. But right? speaking of, of shit, uh, the Arizona defense certainly looked like that on saturday i hope that they figure it out i know that they will okay i have faith on the but bright holy side smokes on the bright side t mac and noah just dude it's dude, so it... good you got oh speedy God. you got i mean that offense just everything also i said this to you i think um before our live show Talk about like completely different personalities. So I said when I went to school, uh, Mike Stoops was the uh, coach, head coach, and then it was Rich Rod. Yes. Rich Rod and then Brett Brennan are could literally not be more opposite. And don't get me wrong. I said earlier, I like the Rich Rod way. But Brett Brennan just, you know, wearing the lay of being so respectful because, again, it's a sign of respect to wear that. Um, I think Noah Fafita's family uh, gave him that. And just being like the calm demeanor, even at half, just the discussions and like the way he views like coaching and just the way he views like how he goes about like coming down hard on guys or or the way to coach essentially is so opposite of what you would normally get from it. Most college football coaches, honestly, Um, that was actually very cool for me to see because I think a guy like that being successful is great for college football so yes and also the arizona wildcats being good at football is great for me so that's for the brand so really all things are wonderful i will get i am going to go to arizona for family weekend my little cousin logan shout out logan um is a freshman at u of a now so i am going for family weekend i am very excited about that i think they play west virginia so uh it's a good game yeah so I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be Ten. fun to see them in person, but I'm I'm optimistic. I'm a little nervous about Big 12 hopes if we don't get that defense figured out, but I'm hoping this Ten next ca- game will find something. 10 catches, 304 yards, and four touchdowns. It was just insanity. And That's some of the catches even, too, like... Not even real. Noah's just like, yeah, I'm going to throw it in that direction. I know he'll get it. 
Um, let's do just very quick, uh, rapid fire shots on some other things that that we noticed. Oregon, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you doing? Figure I don't out. know what. Uh, Forty one we'll completions pass right now, but for, for Dylan figure it Gabriel, out. but twenty four fourteen. What the hell, Jeremiah Smith on um, Ohio State? We've been, yep. we've been saying it. The dude's going to be legit. He's already legit. I thought that was unbelievable. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Those are the things that really, really, really. Oh, Penn State might have an offense too, by the way. That would be cool. Maybe. Um, maybe if they have an offense as well. So We got to um, see Arch Manning. Yeah, it's always a good sign or a bad sign when Arch is in a football game. Jalen Miller, by the way, might be really good. Alabama uh, know, might be really good. It, it, Western Kentucky is not some dipshit. Like this is a t- this is a program that's not like program Stony Brook. Sorry, Stony Brook, but this is <laughs> this is not this is not like a total shit heel. This is a this is a decent team. So all right, but let's talk week two. Um, and shout out Georgia for just being the number one team in the country. Oh and Jesus Christ, we should probably talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the game. You're like, we... all right, this is the final notes that I have. Paige, I'll just you don't need <laughs> yeah. to say anything. Sorry. Yeah. Girls that's talking true. about football. Fade. Fade. Damn it. I'm kidding. Who was that dipshit on on TikTok? TikTok? Justin. I... Damn it, Justin. Justin and I just had a uh, he fired some me synergy up. I was like, yeah. ooh, buddy, that's not the comment you want to make. Yeah. There's yeah. I will say, I know we already talked about trolls. I will say I don't clap back that much. But when I do, it's like I go full scorched earth. Yeah, you can you you know, you can give it back to him. Yeah, that's I'm good. Not, that's how we, that's how it should be. At your own risk, it could be the yeah. wrong day. But anyway, uh, yeah, Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia was absurd. Like this is you know, Carson Beck played okay. I don't know. The pieces on offense don't feel quite right just yet. Although they got themselves a just couple admit of the running you miss Bowers. I do. You I do. love that guy. I do. I tried to draft him in my fantasy draft, and he went like one spot. I was like, "Fuck!" Um, I but but here's my bigger takeaway than Georgia is like Dabo is they're going to have to like he's either going to have to have his same in moment where he hires Lane Kiffin mm-hmm. and go transfer portaling, or like he won't be there in two years. I no. I really think it, this could be. I there. also so I did a video for BR over the weekend on this. The other thing that really bothers me about it is that he. Not only has obviously struggled and clearly isn't using the portal and making all these comments, but he's then making comments about like, oh, you know, he could have gotten a job in the NFL or another job in college football. And it's like, okay, dude, like, what do you, okay, that's great that people want you as a coach, but again, you're going to go to their program and not use the portal. Like, you, what? That, that doesn't prove anything. That doesn't give us anything. So just relax, dude. Relax. Like I said, BR was like, hey, we want to post a video about Dabo. You got anything? And I was like, boy, do I. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just not working, man. And it's not. Also, uh, the, the, you look at what a quarterback does for a team. And Cade Klubnik just is not the guy. Ain't it. DJ, ain't it. Uh, but Cam Ward. What he did for Miami, at least in a one game snapshot, is it? Yeah, there's a guy that we can. I was just, ah, you took the words out of my mouth. I was just gonna say, all right, let's do, let's go to week two because I don't have this. I was gonna say week two, so I do have this in my locks. Oh no, I I I have it in my locks too. Okay, I had this in my locks, but let's talk about Dylan Rayola, please. Fuck yeah, Um, yeah, seriously, so good. I'm excited that everybody's excited about him. Um, I'm excited for Neighbor Jason. I text you. I did a video for oh, VR this weekend, was... and I text you, and I was like, Neighbor Jason is about to love the video I'm doing for TikTok, okay? Um, I, I'm i just – I'm ready. I'm also getting to play Colorado. Like, this is going to be such a fun game. Yes. Yes. I love are, it. I'm ready. We're, we are trying to figure out our plans because most likely – I will be writing about Michigan, Texas, which is 11 a.m., which God God bless the Nooners. And then, so in theory, we'll be able to kind of dig in um, and really kind of watch this one. Raiola, though, um, and, and just talking about Colorado, like this is this is what you want in college football. I was super impressed. For, first off, you knew he had the arm. Yeah. Uh, he looked very calm. I actually thought Nebraska's O-line, albeit against not great competition, played really well, too. So, like, kind of allowed him to be that guy but he's fun arm angles on the move like the mahomes uh comps are lazy but there's some well, realness it's like to physically 
he oh looks no like, like him, but... but he's physically but he there is some realness to that like yeah. i'm not saying he's mahomes but like um it's different and he if you're a nebraska that fan, one like, where he just like fuck. literally dropped it right in the basket like it was just beautiful we, um we'll make our picks for this but um yeah this is a this is a one of the more maximal exciting fun weekend. football yeah, game I, exactly. I would agree and it's a um, night game it's gonna be this is this is the good stuff yeah this is gonna be the good stuff i'm very excited um texas and michigan how are you feeling michigan also uh got lucky that Oregon was bad during the same time they looked kind of bad and then they found it. But are we worried about Michigan? Um, yeah. I, I Especially like, against Texas. Do we think Texas might actually just like show out, but they are at, at Michigan, correct? They're at Michigan. Um, part of me wants to absolutely pound Texas and bet yeah, me Texas. Too. And I'm a little reluctant. The spread was at six and a half. It went to seven. It went to seven and a half. And now it's back at seven. Um, total is at 42. So, um, but Texas like looks like it's going to be a thing again. And I don't know. Michigan did some really good things. The defense made some great plays. Um, I don't know. I I think it's early. But this quarterback situation in Michigan where you're kind of two quarterbacks in there. I don't know, man. Vibes are not great. But they still have some awesome individual players. Uh, Texas may just kick the dog shit out of them, though. Even in yeah. their own building. There's vibes to that. I just don't... Is that too obvious is where I struggle with. Yeah, no, totally. I feel you on that. Um, I don't know. I think I'm still going to go Texas. I don't think I picked that in my locks in terms of spread. I think I took the total. Um, But other games that I'm excited to see, Oregon, Boise State, I, that way we can get like a better evaluation because Boise State's not terrible. Dude, Maybe a little how, bit. How, how about... A night game, um, a night game for Oregon. Maybe they'll figure it out as a po- opposed to like a day game at Otson. Well, how about uh, Ash and Genty too? Six touchdowns, yes. two hundred sixty-seven yards. That was awesome. Um, that I mean, that's a huge line, nineteen and a half. So the odds makers think that Oregon Todd, is going to bounce back. I have I to tell I don't you, know. you had some some serious words for the week one slate. This week two slate is far worse. Uh, it's not great. Yeah. It's not great. Ten- Tennessee NC State is probably your best other game. And okay, let's let's do this together. Uh, when we're doing our AP poll, we are scared to pronounce Nico's last name. So so here we go. We'll we'll pull you guys behind the curtain. Paige and I got on earlier this week. We're getting ready to talk about Tennessee and AP poll, and um, we we're working through the pronunciation of Nico. Go ahead. E Amaleava. E Ame. E Amaleava. Wait, you got to slow it down into three e, sections. No, I, if I slow it down, I'll mess it up. What do you mean? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I e, thought before. E Ame. No, no. See, if I slow it down, I'm going to mess it up. E Amala. No, Kramer. You're gone. I'm you sorry. You ruined it. E Amaleava. E Amaleava. E Amaleava. Nico E Amaleava. E <laughs> It's like what? It's like Jimbo Fisher. I will say and that is all. I don't care who you are. It is hard sometimes to say names. We mess up the Go simplest e of names. Amaliaba. And and anyone who criticizes people who mess up names can try and say my last name correctly the first time. And if you get it right, then fine. But if not, it took Kramer a while. Okay. He should still fuck it up. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is interesting because Nico E. Amaliaba looked extremely good against Chattanooga. Through 300 yards, three touchdowns in the first half. Uh, looked like a dude. Looked yeah. like a dude. Certified dude uh, uh, showing. I am... Yeah, NC State didn't look great, by the way. in their opener, kind of stumbling around last Thursday. Um, I want to see more of Nico. This line... I'm not touching this game because it's eight, and I feel like everyone's going to be all over Tennessee. Kind of want to take NC State. I don't know. Do you have any? Is this involved in your locks in any capacity? It is not. I don't know what to do with it. I. I uh, is there any other? Yeah, no. we can get to locks shortly because this Ugh. is a dog shit slate. Um, it is so bad. Oklahoma State, we Arkansas. Need a dog shit counter. Or yeah, a shit counter. Yeah, seriously, this is the kind of game like slate that old buddy should eat dog shit about. Um, <laughs> it's bad. It's really. 
Baylor, Utah. I have that in my locks. We'll talk about that. Cal, Auburn, if you're into that sort of thing. Michigan State, Maryland. Um, it's not. It's not. It's great. ugly. Well, you know what that means, though. Chaos. There will be upsets. Chaos. Give me some I, chaos. Some teams that we think might be pretty good are going to show that they're bad. Um. Well, look. Let's do it. Let's get to. Let's do locks. Okay. Now we're doing these all at the same time again, right? Yes. This is how we're doing this. Probably Director should have worked Page. It out. Director Page is saying. Okay. What did you just say? I no, like I'm it. trying to make sure I have the flow. We shut up. No, we, we should have asked you before. What did you we say trying... at the end? Oh, I don't know. I was trying to find my lock. <laughs> I was panicking that I didn't have my access to my picks. That's what I was doing. I was trying to buy myself time. So okay. if I said something, <laughs> I, then... did, I thought you, you might have said. I don't know. I I will have if to go back to If it was something offensive, yeah. <laughs> Matt, producer Matt, delete whatever I said because I found my locks. Okay. Here they are. Thank God. <laughs> I was that was me mid panic trying to fill air. Like if you ever see me blackout drunk, that's kind of what it looks like. There are words <laughs> that I'm saying, and my eyes are kind of there. I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm elsewhere. But I found the locks. All right. You were you were four and one last week. So hey, shout out to you. Ooh, I'm not um, gonna brag about it. It's it's nothing. Yeah. You nothing. know how the, the gods are. Yeah, um, it's nothing. I don't want to tempt them. So, but why don't you take us out to see here? You want me to go first this time? Now mm-hmm. I don't have my locks up and ready to go. And now I you're can... putting me on the spot. All right, now I have them. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start with Texas, Michigan. I'm gonna go under 42. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it low scoring. I'm gonna keep it maybe in the teens, in the 20s for both. I think we're gonna be okay. I think under 42. Is that bold? No. I actually okay. kind of like it. I think that's where I would side as well. Okay. So Texas, Michigan, under 42. Here's a true sicko pick. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this, and I'm fading uh, their backup quarterback. Charlotte plus 22 and a half versus UNC. Cool. Good Lord. I know. I know. I just needed one that was out there. You know, when you need one pick that's just completely out there, that was my it's out, out there pick. It's out there, yeah. It is out there. It's something. So we will see um, how that plays out. Justin might be right. Um, Colorado, Nebraska, over 59. Shootout. It's going to be an absolute shootout. Very excited. I think both offenses will be cooking, and I'm excited for it. I actually think it'll be a really fun game. Um, do you have a lean who you think might win those games? I have a pick in my Okay, I won't tell, then I sh- I'll move on. I also like the over, by the way. I do. I, I that, was the, that was the other side that I was – Thinking about so well okay. done. Okay, and then uh, Kansas State minus ten versus Tulane. I'm gonna go with the other Wildcats on that front, and then my final pick is Arizona over whatever the total is because there's not the total listed yet. But I will take the over when it is listed. So that is my very big bet that I don't even know. That's so, I have so I have two sicko bets basically. So Iowa under will be bad. It's not a lock, but it will be yes, bad again. Yes, it's not a lock. I, I I only put it in my locks for the first uh week just because that was the thing, but I will be betting Iowa unders. Cuz also what a... I do with my locks is I bet my locks as a parlay. Um, I like this. I like that. I just do that every year. Um and then this I think my Iowa one is going to be separate. Um, okay, I like all of this minus the Iowa under, but I can't not like that because history says. I mean, that's it's really how the low game this week, so I'm kind of nervous about it. But I committed to betting it, and I'm not going to back out like the guy who said he would eat dog shit. No, no, this is not a dog shit bet. We're just, we're just, we're just doing the thing here. Yes. Um, okay, I'm going to bet Illinois plus five versus Kansas. I love this Ooh. line. This is where I start to hit my rhythm, which is home the underdogs against ranked teams. I don't think this Illinois team is that bad. They lost a lot of really close games down the stretch, and I'm not necessarily buying Kansas just yet. Team Kansas, by the way, I love Kansas. This is only business. Team But I this is a this is a huge game for Mr. Brett Bielma. Like you got to start stockpiling some wins here. I think this is one. Um Utah minus 14 versus Baylor. Look, I don't think Baylor is very good. I think Utah is very good, and this you have to go play at Utah. Like, welcome to a new environment. Yeah, I, I think this is going to get ugly. You want to talk about hot seat? Um, Dave Aranda probably not going to be feeling very good after this game. There's no tricks in this game. I just think Utah's going to kick the dog shit out of them. Dog shit being a thief. 
Syracuse plus three versus Georgia Tech. Again, juicy line. Ranked Georgia Tech, hot team. Syracuse, Mr. Kyle McCord played really well last week. Tough place to play. Um, this number I saw was kind of hovering back between three and two and a half. I'd love to get him at three. Two and a half, I'm still going to do as well. I think Syracuse is going to win outright. Nebraska minus seven versus Colorado. Uh, lost in wow. the Shador, uh, Travis Hunter, um, Horn Jr. fun is the fact that they almost lost to an FCS team. The play calling and the coach stuff at the end was really bad. Okay. Um, Nebraska is going to have its moment. Now, I've said this, if you've listened to this podcast for, I don't know, two years now. Not just saying that because my good friend Jason and our good friend of the pod, Jason, is a Neighbor Nebraska Jason. fan. I think that I think they're going to kick the dog shit out of Colorado. I really, really do. Woof, woof. I think Nebraska is going to finally have its moment. I think Dylan Raiola is going to have um, another welcoming uh, to college okay. football. I really like this game. I also like your over. And the Thank last you. one is kind of a sneaky, weird college football game. Washington State plus two versus Texas Tech. So I looked at that game, but that Texas Tech game from last week made me very, very stressed out about the whole thing. Well, it it, it did to me as well. Um, but I think that you almost lose to who did they almost lose? Abilene to again? Christian. Yes. Um, bad. Bad. Very, very bad. And then you have to go on the road and take on a Washington State team that like is is on this like college football rampage. This is very much fun for me. Um, so, yes, I'm going to take – I agree. It's kind of a weird game. I don't get a sense that it's trendy, though. I think Texas Tech is still getting some money. I'm going to go to Washington State, and there you go. Hopefully a little bit better week so that guy doesn't call me an asshole online again. I mean, easy honestly, asshole. good for the – good for engagement. That's it what I good. say. Thanks for the engagement. Yeah, thanks, um, buddy. Awesome. So those are our locks. Um we've got, I think, some random shit, which is yes. funny because I just said we've said shit, but random shit has been a segment that we've done for Dog the last shit. year or so. Um, your random shit was about, I you had something, and I now forget what oh, it is. Oh, yeah. I went to a baseball game this weekend. Yes. Um, so, fun aside, uh, I don't really post this stuff online. That was like the other day. You were like, why, didn't, like, you why didn't you post post this? about this? I, I just, I'm bad at it now. So, the bullpen coach the people of the New here York know. The people here are aware. Yeah, they're 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 <laughs> we're bad uh, at this. The bullpen coach of the New York Mets just so happens to be a fan of Golden Tee. Reached out to Golden Tee. Mets were playing the White Sox this week and said, "Hey, you guys should come out." So, parents are in town. Took the kids. Hate driving to the city. Um, watched the New York Mets. Got access on the field, which was awesome. My kids weren't having this guy. This gentleman, Eric, could not have been nicer. Brought my kids signed hats. Brought them Mets bubblegum, like Gatorade cup bubblegum, sunflower seeds, uh, extended, like, basically, kids, you have free reign in this field. And then I got a Pete Alonzo signed bat. Now, I I am a, you know, when you do the media thing, I think you lose a little bit the soul of these kind of moments because yeah. you start to become numb. But I was very touched. Yeah. And when it's not had, your sport, too, like your like well, core sport that you cover, it's something that, like, it, it, you are reminded of the fanness that I lives could in be you. a fan. That's a great way to put it. Mm -hmm. We got great seats. We had a really nice time. They are going to be back in Milwaukee in a couple of weeks. We're going to try and go again. Um, and it was cool. It was neat. By the way, the White Sox may be the worst team um, in any sport I've ever seen live. I can't wow. believe. Not fired how fucking bad they are. Um, They're about to become the worst team in baseball history. And it's, it was hard to, it, it, like the fan, like it's, it was sad walking out of there. It was a competitive game. Yeah. But, oh my God, are they bad? So that was my big, that was my big random shit. We had a fun weekend at the ballpark. That is pretty cool. Um, My random shit is that this is my last podcast in this Jesus. room. You have to be careful there. Like, um, this is my last podcast, and then like dead air. You got a fucking <laughs> in this room. Jeez, I'm moving, and Ooh. next week I will have a different background. And pending any internet problems, I could be back here. Who knows? But but I have for years have gotten comments when I did another podcast before this. When I've done this podcast, so many people DM me about these bobbleheads behind me. They are not coming with me. They belong to my stepdad. And I just wanted to shout out the bobbleheads and the people that have commented about the bobbleheads over the years. Um, but yeah, I'm moving. And so I will have a new 
studio, a big girl studio. Co- very co- exciting. Couple of things. That is very exciting. Your Oakland A's are playing some baseball, although I think you yes. expanded them last year. No, Don't no, no. I still, still, I still, I, I root for them. But the problem is that I'm like, I actually texted my friend about this the other day, to yesterday actually. Um, I'm in denial that they're leaving. Like I'm straight good. up in denial, and That's like I'm good. pretending it's not happening. So like for me, I'm just so ignoring. I deal with my yeah, exactly. Just ignore them. That's really the the no puns allowed ways. Ignore it. So, um, we're promoting ignoring your problems here. So, um, so also to. By the way, I'm saying that because you have the A's bobbleheads behind you. If you're yes. listening and you're like, "Wow, that's what? a weird, that's, that's a weird, weird transition." Um, do you have your, you have your, I, well, I know you. You have your studio picked out. You're ready to go. You're yeah. I have a giant that sports page sign. I don't know if you remember from my 30th birthday. I have a neon yep. sign that has my logo on it, so that's going up. Um, I do have A's bobbleheads that are like my own personal ones. I have a signed baseball by Mark Ellis. If you're a uh, oh, A's yeah. an A's fan, you know who that is. He's like one of the longest tenured. A's players ever. That's like the um, most A's player. If you yeah. ask, like, who's the most A's player? It's Mark, Mark Ellis. Ellis. So I've signed baseball um, from him. I have uh, a couple bobbleheads. Um, I think I have the 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 two mats from more recent years. I have like a Coco Curse between the Bernie Lane. Um, I've got a couple, so I've got some some good uh, baseball memorabilia of my own to put up. But yeah, there will be. Definitely a change in studio. I don't know if it'll be ready by next week. I'll try oh, my boy. best. But honestly, moving, I thought wedding was expensive. Moving is expensive. Buying all the furniture is expensive. But it, you know what? A lot of adulting going on over here. And it's it's great. But it is it's a lot of work. During the football season, too. During the football season. I couldn't have just timed it any better, you know? Actually, that's not true. I thrive in chaos. Like, if I have a lot to do, stuff gets done. Because it's very organized. You've seen. I, I made a new doc for us for no punts allowed for certain things. And, like getting my stuff organized we got to be organized i love a good type a organization situation um well that is very exciting though. Well, yes. good luck with the move um, thank you we were kind of on time i think Look this week um crisp um still hopefully thoughtful i did take my beer out of my oversized koozie. koozie that was a that's a good call out just to start immediately about what that. i need is Brewmate to sponsor this podcast because I love their little like insulation things that you can put the skinning cans in. We have like twenty of them. Someone and our family. Other than Dasani, Brewmate, please. We're, yeah, no Dasani. We we're so out of Dasani. Sorry, Dasani and Aquafina. I'm actually not sorry at all. Do better with your water. Do better. Wow. And I think um, we should end on that. Really. Yeah, I could say the same to Dabo. Um, <laughs> Florida State. And the ACC. Dabo you is know the Dasani of football coaches Fucking, right now. I'm, I'm tired of hiding my disdain. For... Florida State Florida State is the Aquafina of college football right now, and Dabo and Clemson are the Dasani of yeah, college football. Like, That's the perfect explanation. Do better. Do better, Dasani. Do better, be better. All right. And... Page. I'm... Ah. <laughs> Cheers. Sorry. Sorry.